I think we all can agree 2020 has thrown more tricks than treats our way. It's a little disappointing. It is. Especially in the Halloween capital of the world, where traditions have reigned supreme since 1920. You'd have generations together at the parade. It's a huge disappointment for the city of Anoka because it fell perfectly on a Saturday to mark the 100 years and they had a big thing planned and now they can't do it. While there won't be nearly 60,000 people gathering down Main Street this year, a pandemic, uh, some snow in October is not slowing us down. Volunteers with Anoka Halloween are still working their magic, so it won't be a complete ghost town. We have some great volunteers and they have uh, figured out how to do a drive by parade. We have arranged for various floats or entries to be located around the perimeter of public areas like a public park. Several Halloween haunts across the metro are having to reinvent their spooky festivities, including the nonprofit organization Haunted Basement in Minneapolis. We were like, COVID can't shut us down, but also we should probably be safe, so let's figure out what that looks like. Their haunted house is going virtual for the first time in 13 years. There's a section called the box where you receive something in the mail um, and a section called the, the house, which is an online virtual haunted house. While the spirit of Halloween is centered around imagination and creativity, some are hopeful 2020's tricks will treat us a little kinder as we near the year's end. I hope some kids still go trick or treating because they've missed out on a lot. For CARE 11 News, I'm Devon Romney. What a bummer too. It's finally on a Saturday. Well, today the health department updated their guidelines for Halloween, encouraging people to keep any gatherings small, to wear a face mask under costume masks, and to follow the usual COVID safety protocols. We have their full guidelines on care11.com.